Now, love and relationships are the stock in trade of most songwriters, but Father John Misty believes musicians have a responsibility to delve a little bit deeper. Yeah, his song's about politics, President Trump, fame and social media, plus his flamboyant on-stage performances have brought him legions of fans. We're going to be talking to him in a minute about headlining the Sixth Music Festival this weekend, but first, let's have a look at him performing live. And I've never thought that Ever thought that once in my whole life You are my first Well, joining us now is Father John Misty, also known as Josh Tillman. You've got... Uh, what's, what's with the, all, all the names? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Oh, really? Does, that, does someone who calls himself Father John Misty have a good reason for doing anything? Fair enough. Probably well. not. <laughs> no, well, and why not? And the performance we saw there was from Jules Holland? That's right. Yeah, and was he some... Uh, did, did you know Jules previously? I mean, how did that come about? Because Jules Holland has this wonderful skill of embracing people from different areas and putting yeah. them in one place at one time, doesn't he? It's a bit of a blur. I do remember that he complimented my shoes. We have similar taste in footwear, not these. Do we know? I was going to immediately. No, we I were had, going like no, this. No, I had yeah. them dipped in bronze immediately afterwards, so I can. I no longer wear them. Okay. Yeah. So you like your shoes? Come on the show. There you go. Why not? It little known industry secret. He books yeah. people strictly based on footwear. <laughs> what That's better way know. is there of judging musical talent? Tell us a little bit about your music, because we we said a moment ago you are someone who likes to sing about stuff. You want to sing talk about, about stuff? Yeah. Well. Uh, I don't know, I've been describing my music to cab drivers as sarcastic Michael Bublé for years now. It seems to work, yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, uh, yeah, stuff um, really inspires me. And uh, politics, you, you are happy yeah. to put politics in the mix? Yeah, I, I mean, th with this album, I mean, it's called, it's called, called Pure Comedy, and uh, I guess the, the thinking was that um, stuff can be a little overwhelming and too serious in my thinking and I think the messages that have always inspired me or the answers to these very sophisticated modern questions have always been really simple you know um, and oftentimes ironic like the first shall be last and the last shall be first so how do you decide what you're gonna write and sing about then well I have a giant wheel in my house with <laughs> topics <laughs> and keys and I spin them and that seems to work you know, I, even it. if that's not true, I just like it. Yeah. I like the idea. Uh, now, you know, that thing you were talking about a moment ago of things at the moment being quite confusing and the world seeming to change, are you conscious of that, in, uh, both in, in the way you're performing, maybe in terms of the way the audience is reacting? Because a lot of people are looking for, it's not they're looking for answers, but looking for, maybe for an escape for a moment from things seeming quite either grim or right, confusing. Right, right. Well, I mean, I, I think that there's a distinction to be made between entertainment and art. Um, and entertainment is largely about forgetting about your life, like, you, you know, for an hour or whatever it is. But art can serve the function of remembering your life, you know. And I think that, um, I think we're pretty inundated with, with entertainment as it is. And I think that a lot of that kind of culture of pure entertainment is responsible for things like Donald Trump happening, you know, in some respect. I mean, we have a, uh, my president is a reality TV star. I'm not sure if you guys heard about that. But um, we might so I think it. the correlation is uh, fairly obvious. And, and obviously, you're, you're over here, you're, you're headlining the BBC Radio 6 Music Festival. What have we got to look forward to? Fireworks. <laughs> um, lots of fireworks. Shoes. Still clearing that shoes. with the city. Yeah, shoes. <laughs> I'm looking for it. See, yeah. now you mentioned the shoes. That picture behind, I'm looking very closely. They're, they, those look quite conventional. They just look like sort of slip-ons. Yeah, that photo is actually a bit misleading. I was uh, punched in the stomach on stage, and, and that's me <laughs> moments afterwards. How did you get into it in the first place? Uh, I majored in college. I have a doctorate in this, believe it or not. Uh, no, I uh, or uh, <laughs> I know I'm like, come on! Is there anything this guy saying that's going to be? Little, <laughs> this may be my first 8 a.m. of 2017. Really? What honest. time do you normally yeah, get yeah, up? It's very exciting. Um, I'd say, well, I hit the gym around uh, 1 p.m. or so. 
We get the picture. You're a character. I've got a picture of you right in the gym. Hey, Tim, in your shoes. It's all there. Right. Uh, lovely to see you here this morning. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much for having Josh. me. Cheers. Uh, Father John Misty. Josh, headline at BBC Radio 6 Music Festival uh, this Sunday. New album is called Pure Comedy. Yeah, no time for uh, 